Today we got a code 629 FMI 8. This code is for the keep alive power for the ECM. Now the first thing to do when looking at this code is to check the fuse. The location. Is it'll be around this location here by this brake valve or that valve you gotta kind of look around if you got an air box here it'll be behind the air box and you got to find a fuse holder this one's right here so this cap was on it so you'll see a fuse holder like this it'll be either tied up to the bracket if you have an air box here or somewhere around this area but this is gonna be it 5 amp fuse. Check the fuse, make sure it's not blown. Check the power, make sure you got good 12 volts. And uh, if you do, well, next thing to do would be to go to the ECM connector and test the pin that this circuit goes to. But uh, I'm just gonna pull this wiring apart here just to have a look at that. Just because I um, might get lucky and find something in there before I go down to the ECM, which is way down in there. Kind of sucks to get to. Okay, so I pulled this harness apart. Give the uh, good inspection here. And uh, ended up finding. Look at that. That's always really satisfying. And this purple wire is coming from power. Grabbing its power from this ECM fuse here going into the fuse holder coming back out as this green wire and if you follow this green wire you can see it leads to a different kind of green so thankfully I got lucky with this one didn't have to go near the ECM because that is uh, buried but uh, if you don't find any rub throughs or anything and you got to go into the harness next step would be is to remove your chassis connector of the ECM which that right there is the injector connector the chassis connectors in the back and I believe it's the bottom uh, connector and uh, a way to tell that is just look to see the routing of where that harness goes that's connected to either the top or bottom you can't see it here is pretty well in there you got to remove the fender um, and see if that harness goes to the engine sensors if it does that's the engine connector it's not the right one you want the chassis connector and then test for power on pin uh, c46 that would be for your keep alive power i'll pull up the wiring diagram here you could have a look but yeah i'm thankful that this code was a nice and easy find right there i'm going to pull that apart and fix it properly and uh yeah that's that one okay got the wiring diagram here so you can see ecm connector chassis connector ECM pin 46 it goes through that 5 amp fuse and grabs power off that main relay comes up and that's a 40 amp um, fuse in the battery box 